What up everybody? Back again here with our perimeter unit. Today we are going to be exploring what is perimeter. So let's look around our objective. Our objective today, today I will be able to find the perimeter of a two-dimensional shape when given all the sides. We want to start with some math vocabulary first. That way when we say perimeter and we talk about our math terms, we have a common understanding of what we mean here at Instructabeats. And the first math vocabulary obviously is perimeter. Perimeter is the total length around the edges of a figure. All right, so we're going to be going around the edges of a figure. So here we have a rectangle, right? And if I followed the dotted line all the way around and I measured that with a unit, could be meters, centimeters, inches, feet, that would be the perimeter. Let's take a closer look at the word perimeter. It always amazes me that people get perimeter and area confused, although when you first start out, you know, that's a common misconception, but when you look at the word perimeter, it's broken apart into two different root words, okay? And the Greek root from where the word meter came from literally means measure, all right? And the peri root word literally means around. So when you look at the word perimeter, the definition is literally in the word. It's the measure around something, all right? So you can use that to help you remember the difference between area and perimeter. So just like we talked about before, when we're looking for the perimeter, we're going around the edges of a shape, all right? So edges are kind of the sides of a two-dimensional shape, and you can find the perimeter of any closed figure, right? So the edges of this triangle, now I'm not gonna do it perfectly because I'm writing with the pen, would be right there. Here you could find the perimeter of finding of this, here you could find the perimeter of the square by finding the measurement of all of these edges and adding them up. Or you could do the pentagon by finding all the edges and adding them up. You could even do a heptagon with seven sides by finding all the edges. So the amount of edges or what we typically call sides doesn't matter. All you have to do is find the length of all of them, the measurement for all of them, and add them together. You could even do a shape with 12 sides, a dodecagon, if you will, all right? All you have to do is find the length of all of those edges and add them together. Now, it's not a circle, although you can find the perimeter of a circle called the circumference, but we're not doing that today. So the way we find the perimeter is inside the definition. We need to know the total length of all the sides. So here we have four sides or four edges and if we want to find the perimeter of them, all we need to do is add all of them together. So my statement's gonna say the perimeter is blank units, and then I need to find the dimensions of my rectangle. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 units here. I know that if I look opposite parallel, my attributes of a rectangle tell me the opposite side is going to be congruent. So this is also gonna be 12 units. Here I have four units in four units. So if I wanted to know the so if I wanted to know the perimeter, again it's in the definition, we're going to look for the total to go all the way around. Almost like you're an ant and you're going all the way around the rectangle. You need to add up all the sides. Now to do that, we're going to introduce something to some of you. Some of you have been using tape diagrams or bar models for your whole math life but I love to add with a part whole model. And this is gonna come in really handy next lesson, so we're gonna practice it for this lesson. So here I have a part whole model. It's not a rectangle, this is a bar model. And I know that I have two sides that are the exact same. All right, so I need two groups of 12, and then I had two sides that were both four. And if I want to know the total of those, right, I wanna know the perimeter, I just need to add all of those together. So when I add all of those together, my perimeter is 12, 24, 28, 32 units, okay? So again, this has nothing to do with perimeter. This is just showing an addition equation visually using a bar model. It's a great way to do math. What this really is telling me, just so you can kind of see the equation, is 12 plus 12 plus 4 plus 4 is going to give you your sum of 32. So here, instead of doing the add-in saying 12 plus 12, we put it into the part whole model. These are all of the parts. And then your sum is the total of the box. It's 32. So we're going to be solving our addition problems using 
part whole models throughout this entire unit. Our we do problem says Joni had a triangle whose sides had a length of 12 feet. What is the perimeter of the triangle? So my statement's going to say the perimeter of the triangle is blank. All right. Again, I know I'm looking for perimeter, so I need to know my feet right there. And also I have the picture right here. So again, it doesn't matter what the shape is. If I'm finding perimeter, I'm going around the edges of the shape. So I know now I'm going to solve this again using my visual model because this is really going to help me next lesson. I have three equal groups. So I want to split this into three equal groups and each side was 12. And I'm looking for the total length of all the sides. So I'm going to add up my 12, my 12 and my 12. And when I do 12 plus 12 plus 12, I see that my total perimeter is 36 feet. Again, showing the addition equation visually using a bar model or a tape diagram is a great way to do math. So here's a U-Try problem. What I want you to do is if you are ready, try this one by yourself. Go ahead and push pause right now, solve the question, and then push play to check your understanding. If you're not there yet, that's totally okay. You can do this as another we do problem in your notes which by the way, you can find in the description for the video. So hopefully if you're ready, just push pause and now you are ready to check your work. So my question said, how many feet would you need to go around the edges of the Pentagon? So I'm going to say you would need blank feet. And based on my statement, I know I'm going to be identifying anything about feet or any other important information in my problem. Now it's asking me how many feet I would need to go around the edges of the Pentagon. That's literally the definition for perimeter. So it's just asking me, what is the perimeter of my pentagon? So I have five edges or five sides and you want to add them up to find the total length of all of them to if you were going all the way around. I'm going to use a tape diagram or a bar model to show my understanding of what I'm doing visually. If you just wanted to do an addition equation, you could also do that, but I highly encourage you to be using your tape diagrams. So here I have three sides that are, or sorry, two sides that were both three. And then I had four sides that were exactly the same. So I'm going to split the rest into three equal groups. And I know all of those were four. And I want to know the total length. I'm going to be adding these all together. So here's the awesome thing about the tape diagram. You don't have to solve all of it in one step. If you don't feel comfortable counting in your head, you can do three plus three is six. And then four plus four plus four is 12. And when you add those together, you're going to get a total of 18. So the value of your tape diagram is 18. The perimeter was 18 feet if you went all the way around the edges. Now I think it's time for the challenge zone. It says Mr. Butler wants to put a border around his miniature golf hole. I only have one golf hole apparently in my backyard. How many meters of border will he need to go all the way around? So my statement's gonna say he will need blank meters to go around. And I know I'm looking for anything in, about meters in my word problem or anything about going all the way around. I'm putting a border around, all right? This is a keyword that tells me I'm doing perimeter, but it's not just a keyword that you grab and you don't understand. If you're putting border around something, a border is something that goes around the edges of a figure. So the, again, this is literally just asking you for your perimeter. And then you wanted again to know how many you would need to go all the way around. So if you started here and then you just went all the way around and you added every edge, what would your total length be? So I'm gonna make a bar model or a tape diagram to help me do this. All right, there we go, it's not gonna be perfect. And then as I go, I'm going to be writing the numbers down. That way I don't skip a side. So here I'm going to have a length of five meters. Then from here to here, ooh, almost made it straight. I'm going to have nine meters, be a little bit bigger than five. Then I'm going to have three meters from this point to this point on this edge. And then a one meter, all right, to make that nice and small, because one is a lot smaller than three. I'm going to have another group of three here. Okay, there we go. Then I'm going to have a six, a one, and a four. So I'm actually going to make this a little bit bigger here. And then I want to go back and I wanted to fix the spacing because when you do a bar model, it's a visual model, right? So one and six should not be the same size. My six should be about twice as big as my three. My one should be about one third as big as the three, right? And my, my nine's not perfect, but what you're trying to do is you're just trying to show that you understand that five is less than nine, which is bigger than three. 
so you make the size pieces accordingly. And then, oop, I forgot to outline my four. And then if I want to know the total length, all I need to do is add all of those up. So I'm just gonna take it one step at a time. I'll do 14 here, okay? I can add all three of those pieces up because that's seven, that's pretty easy. I can add all these up, that's 11, that's pretty easy. And then all I would need to do is add those pieces together. And I would need 32 meters to go all the way around the hole. So this was a challenge zone because it was an irregular figure. But what I'm trying to teach you is it doesn't matter. If you're finding the perimeter, you're just going around the edges of a figure. It doesn't have to be a triangle. It doesn't have to be a rectangle. It can be an irregular figure. It could be a hexagon. It could even be a dodecagon, all right? Which leads us to what we want you to take with you from this lesson. If you forget everything else from this lesson, remember this. Perimeter is the total length around the edges of a figure. If you haven't done so already, we hope you will like and subscribe. Again, thank you so much. Instructor Beats, out.